It's Wednesday and that means the experts are here. Today's topic, spinal problems. Dr. Matthew Alexander with the Chris Spawn Neurosciences Institute now joins us with more. Thank you for joining us, doctor. You've got a display here, so uh, you're actually uh, a neurologist, so you go in and do the surgeries. Yes. So what are some of the misconceptions people have about back surgeries and back problems they may have? Uh, how do they know whether to end up going to a surgeon or to rest their back or to take some other kind of treatment maybe? So typically if you have back pain or back symptoms, if it doesn't resolve in a couple days, then you should definitely seek medical attention. Um, if you have weakness, numbness, um, pain that raises on your leg, that's usually a sign of a pinched nerve. And usually I'll recommend seeing your primary, primary care doctor. They can do a workup. They might do imaging like an MRI scan to see what is going on. What are some of the common problems you might see in the spine when, when you're in there? Where are some of the most common problems and what are you able to do for them? So here is a small of the spine. This is the lumbar spine. This is your sacrum. And here's a, an example of a herniated disc. So th this disc is pushing against the nerve root that's sending the signal down into your leg. So it can cause weakness, numbness, usually sensory loss, and sometimes your reflexes. Um, sometimes you can have bowel and bladder problems. That's very serious if you have incontinence. And um, success rate, pretty much the modern medicine is super. Yeah. Medicine's very good. You have to be realistic on your expectations. Um, you can't take time backwards. You can't make people age 18. People have to be realistic on their expectations. So if you do, this is an example of a spinal surgery where you put screws and implants like uh, on your back, and that does help with back pain. Now, is that gonna make all your pain go away? No, it'll probably help a fair amount of pain and give you more of a livable lifestyle, able to do things you wanna do. Our goal is to get people back to their normal life. What's recovery time usually? Depends on what we do. You know, if you do a outpatient uh, middle invasive surgery, like a disectomy, it's outpatient. You go home the same day. Um, you go back to work in a week. If you do a spinal fusion, you'll probably go back to work in a week or two. A week or two. Well, thank you very much. We're going to ask you a whole lot more questions later on. So, okay. Be ready. You got the answers. I know you do. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, doctor. I appreciate it.